This one's always a problem every year, if you remember rightly. Last year it had sequins on it. Not that Sam and I are obsessed by this or anything. Yeah. They're in these convenient packets for now, but when they're loose biscuits, yeah. well, you, you couldn't put loose biscuits in. Well, you would, but you'd have to turn them upside down and size this off each time. Yeah. Dude, that is an amazing shortbread. Mm. It's very nice. How much was it? Uh, it was a, it was ten pounds. Now you see, that's the same as a beautiful Tesco one, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and the same as one. And you know the thing with M and S is that's a good point. They're, they're good, good gifts. Gift, that's a gift. You go around for a Christmas party, a shortbread Christmas tree tin. Everyone's happy. And I think this is beautiful. <laughs> okay. So what what would you go? I'm with? going five. Wow. Yeah. But I'm going with the four. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Each one's their own. You're yeah. wrong. Okay. What about taste? Uh, I have to say I'm going with a five. Are you? Yeah, because that, I'm sorry, that shortbread you can't beat. And I don't really like shortbread. I'm going with a four. Value for money wise, we're talking about a 10 and a six pounders. So that was a six yeah, as well, wasn't exactly. it? Yeah, exactly. Um, so I think that really that is a four. I think you'd expect that sort of price range from M&S. Obviously, they've just got some machine that makes this mold because it's a third year we've got it. It's very hard, please. Yeah, so no, I'm going three. Wow. So this year, M&S score? 25. 25 out of 30. Same as Tesco's. Yeah, on par with Tesco's. I would say that the thing that let it down, really, was the price point, because the contents was higher yeah, than yeah, Tesco's. Top notch. Mm. 